waking up with... <laughs> Shivraj Prashad, your host on Good Morning Grandma. Now this show is really all about you. If you hear someone using poor grammar, pronunciation or just enunciating ideas poorly, instead of being rude and correcting them, just turn them over to our Good Morning Grammar experts. Now it's time for Tricky Tuesdays with Pallavi Narayan. Today I would like to talk about the difference between a comma and a full stop. A comma, poor thing, is actually the most underused form of punctuation in the English language. It is, as Tanya has correctly pointed out in her previous episodes, it is used as a delineator or divider when we want to say two or three things. I went to buy sugar, comma, milk and orange juice from the market. So the comma is placed when I want to divide a single set of words. A comma is also used when you want to change the thought slightly in a sentence or use a cause and effect. I want to take a trip to the river, comma, where I was able to catch some fish. So I'm changing the thought slightly. I'm also adding a cause and effect. The reason why I want to go to that particular area in the river is because that's where I caught some fish. When you are reading out something with a comma, your pause should be a single second. But when you are using a full stop, a full stop is used at the end of a sentence, which means you would have completed your thought. Who, what, where, when and how have been answered or responded to in your sentence and then you'd put a full stop. The house on the hill has a bright red door which shines beautifully in the sun. Full stop. And when I'm reading it out, I would use a two second pause to allow the person who's listening to understand that the punctuation I am reading out with is either a comma or a full stop, is either a divider or a separator. The first one, the comma being the divider and the full stop being the separator. I would usually tell my students that they need to complete their thought, that the entire sentence has to have that much information in it where I don't have to ask the question, why did this happen or how did this happen? So for instance, I picked up my tennis racket. It is a sentence which seems to be hanging in midair. I picked up my tennis racket to go out to play this evening. It answers an entire set of questions that makes it a full sentence, a complete thought, and then you would put a full stop after that. A comma is used when they want to say one or two more things within the sentence, but the thought has not finished. I picked up my phone, which was pink and matched my t-shirt today. I picked up my phone, comma, which was pink, comma, that matched my t-shirt today. The easiest way to get in touch with me is over email at the butterfly effect at icloud.com. Till then, see you next Tuesday for more tricky words on Good Good Morning Morning Grammar. Grammar. I hope what you heard was useful, but we'd love to hear from you as well. You too can feature on any episode by sending in your request or feedback with a voice message on WhatsApp on plus nine one nine six two five four seven five double four two or via email at shivraj at brevis dot in. We'd be happy to read out your message here or even play it on an entire Friday special episode. Have a good day and stay tuned for another fresh episode of Good Morning Grammar.